Welcome to this video review. Today, what you see I have in front of me is the second generation or updated Strike Eagle 1 to 8 by 24 a rifle scope made by Vortex. I'm sure that you're really familiar with this scope because um, before the update, I think that the first model was introduced in 2016, 2016, uh, 2017, so it's already four or three or four years on the market. But now it, uh, it got a, a small refresh or a small, small facelift uh, just to keep the freshness. Mm. As you probably know, the Strike Eagles are scopes. There are four scopes in this series made by Vortex. So 1 to 6 by 24, 1 to 8 by 24, really similar scopes. Um, 3 to 18 by 44 and 4 to 20 by 50. All of them second focal plane. All of them really, really affordable. This scope here costs less than 500 euros. So, as you can also see physically, it's undisputably Vortex. You see from all the design features immediately. Also, if I, I cover the Vortex sign, you see that this is the Vortex scope. And as I said, it just got a, a small tweaks uh, to keep the freshness uh, apart from that, optically and so on, it's completely the same as first generation. Uh, also the size, 25 centimeters in length, 30 millimeter central tube and around 450 grams of weight. So it's really, really light. Um, it's also fully waterproofed and fog proofed, filled with uh, nitrogen or I think maybe even argon, even though it doesn't really matter. So it just doesn't and, uh, there is no internal fogging if you use it at low temperatures. And shockproof, in our experience, you can also put it on 3, uh, 308, even though it's meant for 5.56 AR-15 rifles and all the clones. Um, in essence, this is a very affordable scope made for all those who are entering the sport shooting with an AR rifle and don't wish to break their bank with, uh, with more expensive choices. So this is an entry level which already offers plenty of features and can be really easily usable uh, on everything what you expect from a wide angle scope for CQB. Uh, it's made in China, even though the, uh, the Vortex is an American company. Well, this is expected for a, for a product of 500 euros class. It has the illumination control on the left side on the turret. It's powered by a CR2032 battery, which is also standard. And you get it in a box together with a flip up covers, a product manual, standard manual, and with a reticle manual. This is something what Vortex always does and it's really, really nice. And this is also what's really new with this facelift model. So the reticle is new and this thread in throw lever, because honestly speaking, they do offer aftermarket throw levers, uh, or I would say as an accessory, but they're really expensive if you consider the starting price of the scope. So they now just added the, the throw lever which can be threaded in into the magnification ring. So the reticle, the whole reticle is designed to be used with a normal 5.56 uh, cartridge and it can be usable all the way down to 600 meters. They say 650 yards, let's say 600 meters. It even has a wind holdovers. Normally, I think you have to shoot uh, 3.6 gram um, bullets but in essence, it's a really easy usable reticle which works well on eight time magnification. It's true on eight time magnification. On one time magnification, you can use it very similarly to a red dot because, okay, let's try it like this. Because it does offer one time magnification and even though this is a really affordable scope, you are able to use it with both eyes open. It also comes with a Vortex VIP warranty. Now here, here at the start, I have to say something more about the Strike Eagles. When they came out in 2015, 
1 to 6 by 24 models. This was the first affordable 1 to 6 model for dynamical shooters on the market. Maybe there were some other small players that offer similar scopes, but uh, Vortex was the first big player that offered entry-level wide-angle scope for this use. And I remember times in 2016 when we sold hundreds of them. It made a really a true revolution in this market segment. It was without a doubt the best selling product of that period, at least in our store. And I, I think that was globally. So I'm also quite sure that it was one of the most successful products of Vortex in all times, uh, at least for what we have seen from our sales. And as such a workhorse, I think it was really smart that they did this small changes just to keep it fresh because now in 2020 there is so many competitors that it's really hard to count them. All the American brands which are competing with Vortex because everybody wants to be a Vortex, they all have similar products now. Uh, so this freshness, this refreshness comes at the right time, I would say. If I speak about the reticle, so it's only one option. It's called the uh, ARBDC. It's matched to 556 cartridge and it's daytime bright. Okay, it, it is true that it has quite a big horseshoe. You can see it here. So we, with this horseshoe, which has, which has a lot of surface, it's daytime bright because it's impossible to expect to have a optical fiber in a 500 euro scope. Um, and normally, if you put an optical fiber inside, why would then somebody buy a Viper PST, which is, in my opinion, the best buy in, in wide angle scope category. So 11 levels, zero for the turn off and is daytime bright normally. The turrets stayed completely the same. So low profile, you won't click much of this. You have 45 MOAs, uh, half of MOA clicks on this turret. They're quite stiff, but nicely audible and crisp enough for 500 euro scope. Uh, there is around 29 mils of, uh, of elevation and windage, more than enough for a scope of this type. And normally there is a multi-turn turret, it doesn't have any turn indicator, it's not needed in a scope like this. You just zero it in and then you put the caps on and leave it alone. They are resettable. You can change the position of the zero. You can just easily like this, you see. But I don't think it's really important in a scope of this type. If I go to the optical performance, so one to eight by 24, so 24 millimeters objective lens, one to eight magnification range. Eight times zoom, eight times zoom for less than 500 euros, it's quite an achievement, even though in the last couple of years, there are others which offer similar uh, zoom factor and very similar scopes to be exact. Field of view, they stated, uh, they state that it's uh, 39 meters almost on 100 meters, which is really a lot, almost the same like the Razer one to 10, uh, third generation, which also came out this year. I do have to say I'm a little bit skeptic about this because when you look through it, you see a tunnel effect, uh, which is also normal for this price class. Uh, I still think that the optical performance is more than decent. It's even more than you expect from, from uh, optics for 500 euros or less. The eye relief is 90 millimeters and the eye box is, it's okay. It's above average in this class, to be honest. And it's really easy to use this scope with both eyes open. Like with all my reviews, at the end I come to a short summary, sweet and sour, uh, sour um, summary like I like to say. I go through the positives and then I go through the points where uh, there is still some room for improvement. So what's really positive is the optical performance if you consider the price. So the zoom factor, 8 times zoom factor and the field of view and true one-time magnification, true possibility of both eyes open use. It's really, really good for this price class. Also the build quality, it's more than decent for 500 euros or less. And I'd also think that their reticle design, it's, um, how to say, it's really well fine-tuned, it's polished. 
So they were considering what to do with the reticle because a lot of manufacturers, they just put some kind of reticle inside of a, of a rifle scope and then later the user see that the reticle is not really that usable. This is not the case with Vortex. Their reticles are well thought. Uh, where I also think that the small refreshments with, with this thread in throw lever, you can see it here, and with new reticle, it's it's a nice touch. So the re the scopes of this type were on the market for a couple of years now. So it was really smart for Vortex to, to do this facelift. Okay, where is still room for improvement? Okay, the accessories included uh, with the lens caps and so on, they're okay, but still I think they're, they could include something more, to be honest, because if you see how many stickers and and everything they give with uh, with um, more expensive models, you expect more from Vortex. I also think that uh, if they are doing the facelift, even though this is a very successful model, they could go even even further. They could make it I don't know, lighter, shorter. They could do more changes. Um, I also think that the reticle illumination. I'm waiting for uh, for first introduction of. Uh, optical fiber reticle in this sub 500 euros class. And I hope that Vortex will be the first one who will do it. And I did hope that when they announced the Gen 2 of Strike Eagle, the Strike Eagles will be the first one to get this. Uh, I think we will have to wait for the next, next cycle, uh, but this will be a nice improvement on these scopes. All in all, still one of the best buys, and especially if you consider the warranty, because the Vortex warranty is without a doubt one of the best in the industry. I hope you enjoyed the review. Please check our review of the first generation. And if you have any additional questions, please check on our webpage or send us an email.